This is an update on the 2011 America Invents Act, focusing on the Patent Trial and Appeal Board, also known as the PTAB. This is the division of the Patent Office that reviews previously issued patents, often invalidating them. In a little over nine years, the PTAB has reviewed 3,000 issued patents, and they've invalidated 2,500 of them. I'm going to look today at patent number 2,500 that was invalidated by the PTAB because it's a good example of what the problems are and how they're reaching these uh, decisions. In this case, Ford is challenging a patent by MIT. Ford is notorious for having filed 26 petitions against a single patent by the University of Maryland, which is an example of the sort of abuse that's tolerated by the PTAB. In this case, the MIT patent was um, granted to inventors, including John Haywood. Haywood is a professor at MIT of mechanical engineering focusing on internal combustion engines. In fact, he's a world expert on internal combustion engines with hundreds of publications and dozens of patents. He even wrote the textbook on internal combustion engine fundamentals, which is used in classrooms of universities across the nation. But now let's look at the administrative patent judges who decided that Professor Haywood was not entitled to his previously issued patent. The APJs have zero experience in their field. And by statute, they're required to have a degree in engineering or science, but that's it. And so they've never put it into practice. They went straight to law school and then on to the PTAB where they invalidate extremely high numbers of patents. So these APJs are not experts in their field. But how are they reaching these decisions? Well, in almost every case, it's a determination that it would have been obvious to combine various pieces of prior art together to create the invention. And we call this hindsight. And in this case, we can look a little bit at the technology. So Professor Haywood focused on spark ignition engines. This is a traditional combustion engine that we all know quite well. The PTAB looked to some prior art of a Toyota technology um, called compression ignition. This is a lot like a diesel uh, engine operates. In this case, Toyota's using gasoline. They're using gasoline and ethanol in order to uh, make a more efficient engine. And so they inject gasoline into the ports traditionally, and then they direct inject ethanol into the combustion chamber. Well, this just wasn't seen to be useful in traditional spark ignition engines, but Haywood thought there was a way to use it. And so no one had done this before, but he took and uh, injected gasoline as normal in uh, a spark ignition combustion engine. And then he decided to use the ethanol in a new way, and he would inject ethanol intermittently only when it needed it for high torque. And so when you need that extra torque, he would inject the ethanol into the combustion chamber and there, thereby create a, a more efficient, cleaner burning engine. And this was uh, a, really a, a significant invention and breakthrough. The PTAB just looked at all this and it just all looked the same to them. You know, they see gasoline, they see ethanol, and you know, they, they really have never looked inside an engine or built an engine or designed an engine, so they really had no idea what Haywood did. Now, remember, this is an issued patent. This patent went through a very thorough examination with hundreds of references, and including the Toyota reference that the PTAB uh, cited in, the, in their case. And so the examiner considered the Toyota technology, and he determined that Haywood and his colleagues came up with something very different and, and, and better or an improvement on the Toyota technology. And so this patent was examined and issued uh, by the patent office. So the scorecard is we've got MIT, we've got the professor, author of internal combustion engines, we've got a competent, experienced law firm, and we've got an examiner with 23 years of experience, and not just any experience, he's an expert in internal combustion engines. So after a rigorous examination over several years and um, uh, evaluation, the patent office came to determine that a patent would issue. So patents approved. Well, Ford comes along, Ford would like to use the technology without paying for it, and so they go to the PTAB, APJs, judges who have no experience and uh, extremely high invalidation rates prejudiced in favor of the big corporations against the inventors, and they convinced the patent office to change their official position. And so now the patent is invalidated. So that's number 2,500. That's why the PTAB is invalidating 84% of the patents they review, overturning examiners, 
and uh, experts in the field. So we're coming up on the 10-year anniversary of the American Events Act and the PTAB, and we hope that Congress is going to take notice and make some adjustments.